Hey everyone, welcome back to DK Tropical Freeze. In the last episode, we began off the way into Wundu Island, and now, well, it's time things get chaotic in the canopy. I will say, we do like this nice change of pace how a lot of the original games were starting on just one island. Here, we go through multiple. Truly, DK is on an odyssey. <laughs> Let's play the level. Let's make it good. I long for the stages that are picturesque, scenic, and very, very beautiful. Will there be silhouette stages? Yes. Ooh, I look forward to that. Oh, trust me, everyone loves them because they're such a stylistic choice. Let's hang around and let's go up and over. Bam! Guess what? We're rich. <laughs> we have enough to buy everything in the store. And then some. Well, Lord Chum, it's up to you. Don't worry, Diddy. I have faith in you. I mean, be fair, you saved me multiple times. Very embarrassing that I got captured in my second game. <laughs> so and so that I. <laughs> Did I uh, die or was that just an animation? No, no, sure. You just timed out. It's okay. all good. Once again, puzzle pieces are not a priority in the slightest. But honestly though, to my point, that is one of the funniest and one of the most sad things about uh, DK um, early on. How the games were always called Donkey Kong, but yet DK was only playable in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one was him getting captured. And then the third one, he was nowhere to be found. <laughs> it's very sad because DK in his own game, he's objectively the worst character to play in that game because uh, Diddy is objectively faster and easier to uh, control. Also, honestly, wouldn't shock me if that was a cranky portion right there with the spike pit. Uh oh. I see you. I see you. I'm kind of not sure how to feel about character-specific bonus points. Uh, it is definitely one of the... I think if I remember right, it definitely was a bone of contention when this game came out initially, how a lot of people were thinking, oh, just padding for the sake of padding. But, you know, I kind of understand why. But I can also understand why it was a pain in the ass. didn't apply to you. No, it's all right. I'm good. DK can take it. Uh oh. Well, I missed out on the puzzle piece, but it's all right. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking it's definitely this level is definitely leading you towards using Cranky for the first time. With all the spikes and whatnot. Yeah. But hey ho. It is a sign of good level design if those stages explicitly made to teach the player things. Yeah, I think you can piggyback off me. And can you jump off and give yourself an extra jump? Or am I just hoping against hope? Yes, you can! Hurry, Diddy! Oh, what in the... Oh, what? <laughs> That's right, little buddy. Take the damage! 
That's what you're here for, Diddy. You're my extra hit. I'm your Yoshi now. <laughs> then again, a lot of players are gonna say, you actually like me. That's what DK was for in the original game. He was nothing but an extra hit. That's what DK was for. Well, that's what people use him for. They use Diddy to just rush at the stage and just... <laughs> as DK has an extra hit. At least what I did. <laughs> Don't judge me, it worked. Peter, leave me alone. It's a video game. Calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. Little buddy, why? It's over, DK. I want to be the boss. <laughs> DK should stand Diddy Kong. I didn't get this hat for nothing. That's what you get. <laughs> I'm not getting that. As long as we can get the cons, that's... Well! Raw rough stage, and that's our first game. Well, not a first game, but over our first death. It is all right. It is indie game's uh, DNA. I should say the IP's uh, DNA. You're meant to die. You're meant to learn. Life's tough. Dover, kids. <laughs> Gotta be careful to not roll here. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I know you and I love to roll around at speed of sound, I get it. Rolling is just fast. <laughs> Indeed it is, and fast is efficient. Is it smart? No. Is it efficient? Hell yeah. Right, there is the G. We must get the G. Hey, you got the G, Diddy. You are a true G. Also, I cannot help but listen to this soundtrack and not be reminded of Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> then again, though, get used to me gushing about this soundtrack. puzzle piece and what else is up top here can you give us a little bit of a boosty boost jump diddy made that extra jump i shall be your yoshi you can jump off me i think because yeah, you can get an extra boost off me somehow That's a gramophone. Hello. Will we play the original DK theme? Yes, it will. <laughs> now, hold on for a second. No, stay up there. Yeah, it was necessary. I think you could tank the damage and continue on. <laughs> Bye, Diddy! En <laughs> enjoy the portal! We did it! What did we do? We tanked it! Like chaps! <laughs> How are you good to get up there for in single player? Cranky Kong, because you can get the same Kong, but you can use them as single player as well. Mm -hmm. You're all good. This is the boon, but also uh, the, uh, the dependent factor of being co-op cup. So we have unlocked a bonus stage. And can I say, I love this stage. You do? I do. Is it because the music is fantastic? You've played it before. you played this before. <laughs> On stream. 
You know what we talked about in the first episode? Yeah. <laughs> oh, how quickly you forget. There's the reason why you don't remember the original that much. Well, I remember talking about it. I just didn't know if we got to that bonus stage or not. Well, you mentioned silhouette stage. <laughs> Welcome to the first one, Busted Bayou. We get kicked out of the ship and I like how it left you behind. I didn't go all the way because I was... I'm scared. <laughs> I was scared of the dark. Don't worry. DK's here to protect you. <laughs> now, you know what? I'm going to be quiet for a bit. And let's listen to the Joda groove and look for the background details as well because they're very nice. Principle, I think. <laughs> but anyway, though, if you look really quick in the background here, there is a familiar Easter egg. A uh, certain bounty hunter ship. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh huh. Done by Retro Studios, you say? <laughs> I wonder why. Metroid Prime 4 when? <laughs> Just you watch, by the time this episode comes out, it's going to come out or be announced. It's okay, Diddy, you'll live on in my heart. <laughs> it's alright, you teleport it. I wouldn't let my little buddy die. Mostly. Just, I really like this track. It's very jazzy, it's very laid back, very chill. <laughs> Did <Diddy's> he sneaking up on life? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you extra life. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Ah, bush enemies. I got ambushed. <laughs> Stun them and you can beat them up. <laughs> yeah! I'm so proud of you, little buddy. It's okay, I'm gonna taunt you and then my big brother's gonna beat you up. Truly, me and Diddy have a symbiotic relationship. Right, I see a barrel. Something to use. Ah, I'm sorry! Well... I put that to good use, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure that barrel is living its best life in uh, Tahiti. The banana went rotten, no. I know, the time expired. I forgot to press trigger! Thanks, buddy! <laughs> I didn't say move! It's DK and the Beanstalk. Truly a fairy tale you you did not expect. 
but one of which you can't say you didn't want. I'm here. Nature bends to DK's will. <laughs> oh, we missed the O somewhere, so we are going to have to replay the stage at some point. Well, guess what we can do is finish off the stage. You know what? I wonder if that's probably the, um, the segment in which I accidentally jumped down and lost it. Oh, well. Take that bush. We made a tree! <laughs> DK is all about restoring nature. Don't worry, I'll... <sighs> I'll get up top to you eventually. bushes and back and forth nice we got <laughs> and I got bananas 64 no less <laughs> Donkey Kong 64 I can't make the noise damn it well, give us a moment and we'll we'll find wherever that pesky O is. Wherever it may hide. Now here is the downside of one of these games. I don't think it remembers the fact that we picked up the K, N, and G. Nope, it doesn't. Yay! Great. <laughs> it's like Tony Hawk's skate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Donkey Kong Pro Skater. <laughs> AKA Donkey Kong Air Ride? Or Jet Ride, I think it's called. What a weird spin off game that was. Did it use the cartwheel of death? Nice little throwback to uh, 64. We're going that game a lot. I avenged you. Thank you! Thanks, little buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna probably call you little buddy so much because I cannot get that out of my head from the uh, Donkey Kong cartoon. There's a Donkey Kong. Oh, 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 honey. Oh, honey. I've opened up a can of worms for you. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I need to show you that. Because it is. It is a thing. <laughs> oh, that's where the O is. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I. I forget if this was officially confirmed or if it was just a rumor, but apparently it was used for a Canadian write-off. As in, like, the budget was used for Canadian write-offs. Mm. But, man, I I need to show you at least a little tidbit from that show. Think of it as early 90s CG, done poorly, and, uh, yeah, yeah, Donkey Kong sings. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good, not great, but it's so funny to watch. I did it again! I did it again! Luckily though, we got the O, so we don't need to worry. Ah! Star! Star, and guess what it unlocks? Oh, that's a nice touch. Yeah. Never say Retro Studios doesn't have that je ne sais quoi. But getting back to it though, for me, it's in the vein of, it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> yeah, but Donkey Kong's American and King K. Rool is British for some reason, it's so weird. <laughs> it also revolves around a MacGuffin called uh, the Crystal Coconut. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> And also, and also, and also, all of the characters look awful. Like, not at all what you think they'd look like. Wow. Yeah. 
And one of the most notable things is that Dixie Kong's in the game. And for some reason, well, I guess I say for some reason, I think they knew what they were doing. Um, Dixie Kong has a nickname. Take a guess. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you haven't, abbreviate Dixie. And yeah, sure, you'll get. <laughs> I'm sure you'll. I'm sure you'll understand why. I think I got the chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, hey, Dix. <laughs> and it said so often. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what are you trying to say here? <laughs> But to be fair though, the Donkey Kong cartoon has left a legacy in some way, shape, or form because not only did it get a parody album, do you know a band called Aylstorm? No. Basically, imagine pirate metal. <laughs> and their entire album is literally called The Curse of the Crystal Coconut. And one of their songs is based on the cartoon. And also recently, um, they got a bunch of the voice actors from that cartoon back to just do a little musical. <laughs> so the legacy lives on. <laughs> but audience, if you have not seen the Donkey Kong Country cartoon, oh, give yourself a good hour of just what? But anyway, guys, that is going to be my little gift for you and the way we are going to end today's episode. So thank you all for watching. If you like this episode, and did you watch the cartoon growing up? I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much, K-O-N-G Kong. And we got a coin schwa out of it. But until then, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, then by all means, please be sure to like it. And of course, if you want to subscribe to see more, note, not all of the episodes are going to be about the cartoon. <laughs> it's not like Kirby in the Forgotten Land where we talked about the Kirby anime for the first 15 episodes. Hey, that was topical and that was <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? Maybe, maybe we should watch it. <laughs> it makes something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Good lord. <laughs>